Yes, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own blog with the website builder of Wix. You might have heard of Wix. It's the biggest one out there, the biggest website builder. And therefore, it has many features which help you to build your own blog or website or even online shop. So without further ado, let's start. Most importantly, before we start, you find the link to Wix down in the video description. If you click on it and then sign up, you, you help me and my channel here to grow because I get a small commission from Wix to do these tutorials here. So thank you a lot for supporting me. Uh, when you clicked on the link in the description, then you land on this side here and we are using Wix uh, ADI. So Wix ADI stands for Artificial uh, Design Intelligence. There's also the Wix Editor, which is more for advanced users. But I, I find the yeah, for beginners and starters, the Wix ADE is really the better option. No worries. You can switch later on from Wix ADI to uh, yeah, the Wix Editor. So let's start. You simply click on Let's Do It. And then you land on this screen where you can sign up. You can do Facebook, Google, or Apple, or simply your email and your password. And once you sign up, it takes you to this side here. And yeah, now in the process, it will ask you a couple of questions. And the, yeah, the algorithm will then uh, generate a website uh, out of your answers. And uh, we can then add our blog post to this and publish it. So let's start, click on get started. So, and now it's asking you what kind of website are you creating? Let's say blog. And it also gives you some more options. For example, personal blog, technology blog, PR blog. I say travel blog. So we have some nice pictures in this tutorial. Click next. Yes, and now it asks you what kind of features you want on your website. For example, of course, the blog. This is built in already. Uh, you can have a chat bot, uh, which sits at the right bottom corner, and then uh, people can chat with you. You can also get these messages on your uh, mobile phone and start chatting with your website visitors on your mobile phone. Um, of course, forms. You when you have a blog, you need a, yeah new subscribers, so where they can enter their first name, last name, and email address. And as you see, Wix has a lot of functionalities to offer. You can later on add an online shop. You can add bookings, events, music, videos, uh, groups, and if you're a restaurant, you have food orders and restaurant menus, and so on. No worries, you don't have to select them now. You can do this later on. Uh, for now, I will go with the most essential with a blog, chat and forums, which is selected. And then I click next. Now it uh, Wix asks you for your level of experience here. I built sites professionally. I've created many. I've cre created a few. This is my first, for example. So I click on it and then let Wix ADI create a website for you. So start now. And on the next screen, it asks you for a name. So I would say Julian's travel blog. You can, of course, get more creative with that. <laughs> and then I click next. Uh, and now if you have an existing website or you have a business at Google Places, you can enter the URL or the business URL of yeah your Google Places here. And then it pulls some pictures and some content in. But if you don't have it, you can just skip it. And then the next step, it asks you for a logo and you can change the name. You can enter your email, your address, and of course, link your social media accounts. For example, if I'm now a travel blogger, I probably use Instagram. So you can add the Instagram link here and then it pulls automatically your pictures from Instagram into your uh, travel blog website here. Yeah, just fill this out and click on next. And on the next screen, it asks you for like how you want to, yeah, the design theme of your blog. And yeah, you can choose from these six. No worries, you will have more later on. And you can change this later on. It's just for the first steps here. I go with a retro here. Yeah, and as you see, it now gives you like three different design templates. The one on the left is a little bit more dark, has a little more dark colors like green. On the right is a little light. And in the middle is like the perfect mixture of both, I would say. So I would, I would take the one in the middle, use this design. And in the next step, it will ask you what kind of pages you want on your blog. For example, in like an about page here, a contact page or a page with just your Instagram. You can simply add this, for example, my Instagram feed. And you can, of course, add pages later on. So that's not really important at this point. Uh, but if you if you find a site here interesting and you really want to have it, like an about page about me, then you can just add it. And then now you click on edit site. And now the algorithm uh, starts creating your website, starts creating your blog. 
And as you see, fills in already this dummy content here. So this is quite wonderful. It's already filled up with pictures and the colors and also here like a map and so on. And now let's see how we can add this with more life. First of all, the design. So we have here design themes. Uh, this is what you saw at the beginning where it shows this one. But of course you can yeah, uh, later on uh, change these. You can go through, just click on it and you will see then it automatically changes the design. For example, hype here. We can take a clean one. So this basic color here is green, but of course you can change the colors. So for example, if you have a brand color already, you can change the main color here. Just click on it and then you can choose from here from the color template or you can choose here or enter like a hex value. So this is a hex color code. If you're not familiar with this, just Google it. It's, uh, yeah, every color on the internet has a uh, unique identifier. It starts with a hashtag and then some numbers and some letters. And yeah, if you have a brand color, just ask your designer and he can give you the hex color of your brand. And then you can enter it here and you have colored palettes here and you can choose from and this then creates the color theme for your website here. You can do the same with fonts. So if I click here on fonts, um, you can have a clean font, an elegant font and so on. Just go through and see what you like. And you can, if you have older visitors on your website, you can increase the font. And then as you see, it gets a little bit bigger, but I stay with medium size here. Now I go back. And at the very end, you also have animations. I don't use these too often because it slows down your page. So I wouldn't recommend using many of these in, uh, animations. Simply go with themes, colors, and fonts. So this is the design you can change. And then of course you can add new sections to your page. This is now your page here as we saw it. Uh, so I can click on it here. And then you can change, for example, you can change here the picture, you can change the title or the subtitle. You can also add buttons to this. Um, so you can link them to your, yeah, to your different sites of your website. You can use different URLs. Just click here so you can have it linked to different pages, to web addresses, to emails, to phone and so on. Yeah, just have a look at it and it's pretty easy and straightforward. And as you see, the design is uh, here in blocks or they call it stripes. So this is the first stripe, then you have a second stripe, a next stripe, and for example, this context stripe here. And you can rearrange those by just clicking here, move up. And then it moves up above the subscriber form here. And you can change that back. And if you did something which you don't want, you can always go here back and forth, like undo and redo. This is also quite helpful at the beginning if you mess something up. Yeah, these are the blocks sitting on each other. And now if I want to have another block below here, you can of course click here. And then you can choose from like a variety of different blocks. And you can have, for example, just simple text blocks or image stripes here. You can put a video here and so on. So for now, we go with a simple text. I click on add section and then it gives me the same functionality as before. I have the title, I can add a subtitle if I want and I have a paragraph and I can also add buttons to here. So, and then you can simply edit the content or you can also choose from a different design. So if I don't want this here, so I want it more in the middle, I can have the design changed with a click of a button or I can go here. For example, now I have a nice title image, a title, a subtitle, and a paragraph and a button. And so you always have this uh, buttons here, edit and design. And with these two, you can uh, yeah, change the appearance and the content of the block, or you can simply also delete the whole thing. Just click on delete and it's gone. Yeah, so this way you build your website, your first homepage here. Uh, you can add also here the sections, and here you can see all the pages of your website. Here we had the home page, and we, as you remember, we had the Instagram and an about page. And you can also, yeah, just click on it, and it will take you then to your Instagram feed. This is dummy content here now, but here you can simply click on settings and upload your own Instagram feed. And this is the about page. And of course, you can always add new pages. Just click on add page and it will also give you some templates to choose from. Then you can simply upload new pages to your website and you can click on edit menu. And here you see on the right, you see home page, Instagram about, and you can change the arrangement here. So you can put the about page uh, before Instagram 
and then this changes over here. So this is useful to edit the menu. Yeah, I go back to the home page. So just a quick recap. Now we created our first site here. This is the home page. We now know how to edit the content and how to upload new pictures here and rearrange the blocks. And now we want to talk about how we create a, a block finally. So therefore we go on manage apps and here you can have all apps. For example, if you have an online shop later, you can, you will also see it here. But since we pre-selected block, you can go on block and then it will open up like the back end of Wix where we then can yeah, manage our blog posts and write the blog posts. So here, as you can see, we already have like three blog posts. This is like dummy content from Wix. We want to create our own new blog post. So we click here and then you can add a catchy title. Yeah, for example, the top 10 restaurants in Rome. If someone Googles this now, then uh, Google might show your blog post and someone will click on it so you get more traffic to your blog. This is called keywords. Uh, you should use keywords in your title and also in your blog text so that Google has a chance to index your sites for certain keywords. Yeah, and don't go with like too broad keywords. For example, this one is very broad, like the top 10 restaurants in Rome. Uh, probably there are like a million articles out there already. Go like uh, the top vegan, the top 10 vegan restaurants in Rome. This is probably more niche and you have a better chance of ranking for these uh, yeah, type of keywords here. So this is the title and then you can start writing. So you can start, this is the first paragraph and so on. You can just type in. And you can also click enter. This works like a word editor. So this is very simple, but you can also click on the plus here and then you can add like an image. You can add a gallery, a video, even a GIF, or you can upload a file and you can also add like a divider or a button, a table, and you can even insert your own HTML code. But let's go with an image, for example. Yeah, here Wix does it really nicely. You can either drag and drop your own files or it's connected to Unsplash, which is like a platform for free stock photos. So I can go like Rome and then I have my image here and I can use these image uh, for free on my website or on my blogs. And then it uploads the image here. I have some options on how like the image should look and I can yeah, cut it and edit it. But for now, I just leave it like that. I think you get the concept and then I can just start writing again below there so second paragraph and so on you get the idea you also have like different options here you can for example have this as like a headline so you in web design you always have like h1 h2 h3 and so on so and you put keywords in these headlines so you're trying to write a blog post like in the h1 there's the main keyword and h2 they're like the other keywords you want to rank for and yeah use headlines to organize your blog and uh, don't write too long uh, sentences just make the paragraphs like two or three lines and then some of them and then another headline or so yeah you can do this here you can also have some text styling make it like bold or italic and or underlined you can change the color and of course have some yeah, bullet points or numbered. So this is very normal and as, yeah, as you probably know it from, from other text editors. So this is how you will enter your content, your first blog post here, S simply write the text, upload some images, then you can go on settings. And this is the cover image. So some, if someone uh, publishes your yeah, blog on, for example, social media on LinkedIn or shares it on WhatsApp, then it will show this cover image here. And you can enter like who wrote the blog post. This is me, for example. And you can also get on advanced so you can add a description and you can add like related posts. So uh, in some functionality, then it will show like related posts at the bottom of your blog post. Then most importantly, SEO, so search engine optimization. As I told you, this is like how it will be shown on Google. Uh, you want in your in your h1 headline you want to have the main keywords and you can add a description here um, so that the keywords are in the meta description for google so people can find it there's also social share so if someone shares it as said like this is title image and also the title make sure this looks nice so people can find it and in the next you can add of course categories so you can say for example blog po travel blog post from italy from spain from a us or whatever you can simply add it here 
you can tag it. So for example, if it's about food or if it's about travel tips, you can just enter it here. Yeah, this is a bit advanced. You can also have subscription plans. So peop only people who subscribe to a, like a, your content and pay 10 euros uh, per month, for example, then they can read it. And you can all, of course, translate it. Here you can add like a app from Wix to, to have it translated. So this is the left bar here. This is the middle bar. So you this is for text edit and this is for yeah settings and meta description. And now we can publish it or we can schedule the post. So we can say post this uh, next week, Monday, or I will now just publish it. And now I see my top 10 vegan restaurants in Rome post here at the top. You can also have draft and ske schedule post and trash post here in the trash. Uh, so to rearrange them. So let's go back to the website and see how we can now view this. First, we want a section where we show our blog post. So I click on plus. Then I want to have my blog feed here. I like this one a lot because here are just pictures. It looks more like a product or something. But I like this a lot because you have pictures and text. Yeah, now I added a section with the latest blog post. You can say like what is displayed, for example, date and reading time and the author name and picture and so on. You can also go back to manage. This is what you've seen before uh, in the back end, like manage your blog post. Then you can start editing them and you can change the design. So you can just have pictures or a different just design theme of this. So uh, now let's go on preview and have a look. So we can click on preview. So this is our homepage now. And then we have our blog post linked here. And I could simply click on them and then it brings me to the blog post. Yeah, as you see, this is my website and there's the blog post. This is a dummy content now. I choose this because it has a little bit more text. But yeah, this is how the blog post would appear on your website with the image and the text. And you can, of course, put more in. And as you can see, people can write a comment. They can share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or simply the link. They can give a heart and they see also like other posts, like recent posts, and they can yeah click on it and be redirected to the other post. And of course, they can simply write a comment here when they comment your blog post. Yeah, this is pretty easy. As you see, it doesn't take more than 20 minutes to set it up. And then you have your own blog combined with your own website. And if you edit now everything, the content, the pictures, and write your first few posts, then you can go and publish. And you can already publish this, share it with your friends, and they can access it. But once you get want to get professional, you want to connect your own domain. So you can click here and then you choose a plan from Wix. It's like 10 to $15 a month. Yeah, now just publish and continue. And then it will publish your blog on the World Wide Web and everyone can access it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you liked it, give a thumbs up. And yeah, don't forget the link to Wix is down in the description. This would really help me to get more traction here and to, to grow the channel. And yeah, good luck with your blog. Goodbye.